Welcome to Japanese from Zero, course two. We're near the end, guys. This is lesson 10. There are two more lessons left, and I finally get to make a green background for everybody. I'm very, very excited. Now, that being said, you still don't know a lot. You honestly do not know a lot. Because as I'm making examples, I'm like, oh, if only they could say this, it would sound better. But you don't. And I don't purposely want to rush a lot of books, a lot of, I'm not going to talk down about other books, but it's a, as a book writer, myself included, when you make lessons, you think, oh man, I'll just throw this in here. I'll throw this in there and throw this in here. But I taught the live classes and I know it doesn't work. You cannot just throw tons of things at people. They cannot absorb it at that fast of a rate. I'm taking a Chinese class now at University of La uh, Las Vegas, UNLV. And the pace is slow. And I find myself as a student thinking, oh man, if I could say this, if I could say that. But the thing is, I still don't say the other things good enough yet. So the worst thing that could happen to me in Chinese is to rush very fast into all the things I want to say. So literally my conversations now on Hello Talk in Chinese are, are you a college student? I am studying Chinese, but my Chinese is not good yet. And I think I'm saying it right. And then, uh, I mean, that's it. That's all I can do. And then, then from that point forward, it turns into English with the person. And then I ask questions, but I'm not rushing. Because honestly, if you rush, it doesn't save that much time. Because you'll probably not keep learning Japanese if you do. You'll probably stop. Because this is what's going to happen. You're going to get so much information into your head. You're not going to understand it all. And you're going to feel bad. And you're going to quit. So don't feel bad about going slow. Take it slow. Learn the basics really good. I promise you, you know a lot while at the same time not knowing a lot. It's a mixed, it's a mixed message, I understand. But we're getting ready to jump it up a notch. Okay, today is where we learn how to connect sentences. What that means in fancy terms is we're going to make a compound sentence. Instead of saying blah, 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 then blah, 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 we're going to say because blah, 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 blah. Okay, hopefully that made sense. And at this point, guys, you should know all of the main katakana. Akasatana, akasatana hamayara ra, ra wa, sorry. We got all of those in there. So what's next is going to be compound hiragana, and then we're going to do unique compounds, but those are pretty, pretty easy. So right now, you could theoretically say you know katakana. You know katakana and you know hiragana, and what's next is That's when you start really tearing it up. Very excited. All right, so there's a couple new words I want to teach. Not teach, but you already know. You've already been through the lesson, I assume. Uh, so, by the way, in the lesson, there's a lot more words, but I just give the key ones that I want to use in my examples, okay? So we have to see, miru, miru. Now, it means to look, to watch, whatever the English needs, it can become that, okay? Miru. Now, miru is an iru eru verb. We know very well by now what that means. That means when you conjugate it, it's iru eru drop the ru. So to say, I will see, mimas. To say, I don't see, or I don't watch, or I won't watch, they're all future tense or present tense, right? Depending on the context. Uh, it's mimasen, mimasen. For example, I don't watch TV it would be TV, we don't know this grammar yet, theoretically, I'll give it to you in a second, but mimasen. Okay, you should know it. And kiku. Kiku, we know by just hearing the word kiku that because it doesn't end in a ru, there's no possibility of it being any other type of a verb than a regular verb. The only type of verb that could possibly be not regular, some other type, has to end in a ru. Right? But remember, being a ru verb, that's all that means. It doesn't mean anything else. Remember, there is no such thing as a ru verb because every single verb type has a ru in it, has a ru verb included in those types. So it doesn't make sense. Only thing that helps is if it doesn't end in ru, you know, you can follow the standard pattern of e form plus the ending, right? So, uh, kiku, I listen, kikimas, I listened, I heard, kikimashita, I didn't listen, kikimasen deshita. I think you all get that by now. Now, uh, before I even show you the examples, 
Let me ask you a question that you, if you've been to the lesson, you know, but let's, there are people that are just now watching this video only. And I want to ask you, what particle will mark the thing that you watch or the thing that you uh, hear? What marks it? Should know this without hesitation. Because, because if a verb acts on something, right, if an action happens, right, it applies to something, right, it's O, right, the particle O. So you listen to something. Um, I thought I had a screen that showed that, but I don't. So it's something O miru, something O kiku, all right? So let's, let's start with a sentence. Go ahead and tell me what you think this is. Ashita tomodachi to eiga o mimasu. Now keep in mind, I'm going to be using all the grammar we've already learned throughout course two and course one because it's progressive. But also keep in mind, I can't, I can't review everything. There's so many things that we know now that I can't possibly in one set of examples cover everything that we've learned. So some things might fall through the cracks in the review area, right? So ashita. Tomorrow with a friend, I'm going to watch a movie. I will watch a movie. I'll watch a movie. Whatever makes sense in English. Now in English we say, I'm going to watch. And that makes you feel like the word iku might have to be in there. But no, not in that particular sentence. I'm going to go watch. I'm going to watch is future tense in English. So mimas covers it. So ega o mimas. Notice that we are marking movie with o. Okay. Uh, how would you say... Now, I'll give you this one first. I'll give you this one. 私は毎日音楽を聴きます。私は毎日音楽を聴きます。I, every day, listen to music. I listen to music every day. Now, notice that this is, this is a review, okay? They're both must endings, okay? But this one has ashita, and it forces the must to be am going to watch, will watch. But in this one, to listen becomes uh, always, right? It becomes a thing that you always do because every day I listen. It's not will listen. It's listen. I listen to music every day. Okay. How would you say, what shall we watch? What shall we watch? Maybe a friend has come over and you said, hey, man, let's Netflix. And I'm not going to say it because I know what it means. Let's. Let's let's Netflix. Let's watch something on Netflix. And the friend's like, "Well, what shall we watch?" This is lesson six, I think. Of course, two. Nani o mimashou ka? Nani o mimashou ka? Very simple, right? Nani o mimashou ka? And what if you want to watch uh, Breaking Bad? Breaking Bad o mimashou. And I'm sure that's how they said it in Japanese because that's all they do. Look, when in doubt. Say it in katakana. Just say it in Japanese sound as much as you can. Like, coffee is kohi. And a microphone is a mic. And if you forgot how to say hon for book, you could just say book, book. And it would make sense and they would understand it. I promise you. Mm. Mm. You guys have got to try this soy sauce. It is really good. Starbucks just recently released it. It's like really good. Mm. All right. Uh, so let's say you went to a movie and your friend said, oh, who did you watch it with? You like, who did you watch it with? Informal. Who did you watch with? Say that informally. Dare to mita no? Dare to mita no? Dare to. And you could, you could also remove the no. Dare to mita? Dare to mita, as long as it's got the upward sound, okay? Then we're good. All right. Uh, oh, I, I saw it with my father. I saw it with my father. I saw it with my father. Informal. Otosan to mita yo. Now, we didn't cover what yo is in the videos. It is in the book, though, okay? So you should know that that just read the book. It's got several different things that it does. So, otosan to mita yo. I kind of forgot to put that in the video. It happens. Uh, it doesn't, in this case, actually change the meaning at all. Okay? Sometimes it could be like an exclamation mark, like, Otosan to mita yo! So my dad! But here you're just saying, 
お父さんと見たよ。saw with my dad, okay? お父さんと見た。would be fine too. saw with my dad. alright? how would you say, let's listen to music together? let's listen to music together. Alright. Now that we have used those new verbs, now let's go ahead and do the main, let's head into the main thing that we want to talk about today. We're going to talk about、uh, this new connector. And I say new connector, we only have one kind of connector, but it's not two sentences as one. We learned how to say そして So そして was and, but it's A new sentence that starts with an and, okay? It's not connected sentences, okay? But in this case, we're gonna take two sentences. Oh, aren't you the man? Two sentences into one. Look at you, girl. So we're gonna do that by combining two sentences using this kara connector. Now, we know that kara up until now we knew is from. It is nothing to do with that right now. It's literally completely. Not the same thing, okay. If you want to say from January, from January, it's ichigatsu kara. Remember that this is not that kara. This can mean because, so, or since. Now, in English, we say because a b or since a b or a so b or a therefore b, right. And we can move our because and our so. Like in Japanese, it's the same thing. It's just whatever you want to say in English has to change. If you want to use so, it's still going to be the same sentence in Japanese. If you want to use because, it's still the same. And if you want to use since, it's still the same. They're not different. Okay? That doesn't mean there aren't other ways that we will learn to say because, but we're only learning this way right now. Okay? We're trying to hold back. Okay? If a book. Introduces because and then gives you nine different ways to say because, you won't know which one to use ever because you'll always have to think about all versions of the because that you learned. We're gonna learn a new one. And it'll be a while before we learn another version, okay? Because I want you to get really good at this particular one, okay? So, here's how it works Reason, kara, result. It is always this. Always. It is always the reason first, okay? And then the result of that reason. Okay? In English, <clears throat> we can say, I didn't go swimming because it was hot, or it was hot, so I didn't go swimming. I can flip them back and forth. But in Japanese, you don't. Okay? You don't. You say, because reason, this. Okay? That doesn't mean later on I won't show you a way to do it. But right now, there is no way to do it as far as you know. You always have to say reason, following the rules, then kara, then result. So let's do it.、Uh, actually, let me explain one important, important thing. You must package the reason into informal and plain form. There are rules, <coughs> excuse me, there are rules. The thing that comes in front of the kara, the reason, it can't just be the raw sentence and then the word because. Okay? In English, we say, the raw, I don't have money. Because I don't have money. Japanese don't do that. They package it. Okay? And we'll learn what that means in a second.、Okay? And another important rule the final sentence determines the politeness level.、Okay? Because, because I said you must package the reason in an informal form, you might be thinking that the sentence is informal or casual. It's not. The thing that determines that is the result. A, kara, B, B. If B is polite, the whole thing is polite. And if B is impolite, the whole thing is impolite. Because if you remember, when, when we learned informal form, we talked about it that this is one of the most important forms to learn because it's so prevalent, even in high level polite Japanese, because they, this is why, because they package things in this form. So let's do it. So let's take two sentences, okay? O kane ga arimasen. I don't have money. お金がありません。車を買いません。That's two completely independent statements. Okay? I'm not going to buy a car. I have no money. 
I'm not gonna buy a car. You could just say that. お金がありません。車を買いません。But it's not smooth and it's not cool. Like, it's not exactly relaying what you want to say. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna package the reason into informal. How do you say informal? お金がありません。It's お金がない。Here it is, ready? お金がないから、because I don't have any money, 車を買いません。I won't buy a car. I'm not going to buy a car. お金がないから、車を買いません。Wow. That's a big sentence. I can't do that in Chinese. I wish I could. I could do it in Korean. But Chinese? No. I don't know how to say, I don't know how to say because.、Uh, I, I can say, I don't know how to say money. <laughs> I can say I don't have, but I can't say buy. Like, there's a lot of things I don't know. Your Japanese level is higher than my Chinese. Congratulations. So, お金がないから、車を買いません。Alright, let's do another set, okay? Oh, let's not do another set. Let's talk about this. So, in this sentence, it's a polite sentence, alright? お金がないから、車を買いません。It is polite because 買いません is polite. In this one, now I'm making it,、uh, for some reason I completely changed, completely changed. I said, oh no, I didn't. I didn't change anything. I got confused. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Hang on. <sighs> I needed a little bit of coffee to, to fix up what I thought was what I was doing. We learned in the video that talked about, in lesson nine, we talked about making things informal. We know that kau becomes kawanai for informal negative. And To not buy a car is kurumo kawanai in informal. And now the entire sentence is informal. Okay? O kane ga nai kara kurumo kawanai. And I could throw a yo on the end of the kurumo kawanai yo. I'm not gonna buy a car. Kurumo kawanai yo. Okay? I could then make it polite again by adding a des. Make it just as polite as kaima sen, but even a little bit softer, a little bit kinder. O kane ga nai kara kurumo kawanai des. Not gonna buy a car because I don't have any money. All three of these sentences mean the same thing. You're not going to buy a car for the reason that you have no money. Now, in English, we said, I don't have money, so I'm not going to buy a car. Or, because I don't have any money, I'm not going to buy a car. Or, I'm not going to buy a car because I don't have any money. All of those versions in Japanese become, o k a n e ga nai kara, kuruma o, and then insert your formality level there.、Okay. All right. Kuruma o! I didn't want you to see that. I'm off my game. I didn't want you to see that. Now, imagine you didn't see that. I'm hoping you didn't. How would you say, because I bought a car, I have no money? I have no money because I bought a car. Remember, reason is always first. If you said, Kurumo kaimashita kara, it just does not sound very natural. Okay? It just doesn't. We talk a little bit more about it in the lesson, but really, please just trust me. Everything here should always be in the informal form, okay? It's gonna feel okay to you, but it's gonna sound unnatural, okay?、Uh, especially if you make the second half of it informal and the first part of it polite. Or not polite. Like if you go informal to polite, it's very, very weird. Polite to polite can happen, but it's also not natural. Normally not used as much. So, because I bought a car, Kurumo katta kara, o kane ga nai desu. Kurumo katta kara, o kane ga nai desu. Alright, let's look at some more examples. Alright. Furui kurumo o urimashita. 古い車を売りました。I sold my old car. 新しい車を買います。I will buy a new car. How would you say? Because I sold my old car, I'm going to buy a new one, a new car. Kuruma o Utta Kara 
打ったから新しい車を買います。Now, just let me give you a little bit of an advanced thing to think about here. We don't have to say 車 twice. We really don't. You could say 古い車を打ったから新しいのを買います。新しいのを買います。Because remember, we learned way, way back, 新しいの means a new one. Okay? 新しいの It seems weird because we're putting no after any adjective, but remember, that's the one pronoun. So, 新しいの And you keep the O. You keep the O so it kind of lengthens. It feels like it lengthens, but it's really kind of separated. 新しいの新しいの買います All right, you could say that. All right, what about this next one? What does this mean? 新しい車を買うから古い車を売りました。I flipped it. What does it mean now? See, this first one was, right? Because I sold my old car, I'm buying a new one. But this one has reversed it. The reason is now different. It's 新しい車を買うから because I'm buying a new car, 古い車を売りました I sold my old one. Okay? Right? It, it's a different sentence. With all the same words, the order changed the meaning. Okay? All right? What if、uh, you're at a friend's house and you're, you're hanging out, like you're watching TV or you're, you're playing Xbox or something, and, and you, you just realize,、oh, I got a lot of homework. Listen, I have to go home because I have homework. I, I'm going to go home, is what you're going to say. I'm going to go home. Because I have homework. But you're going to say it to a friend, so it's going to be informal. How do you say that? I'm going to go home. I'm going to go home to my house. I'm going to return to my house because I have homework. I mean, honestly, at this point, there isn't a little bit of smoke coming out of your ears. You're not trying hard enough, okay? If you're the kind of guy that isn't saying it out loud, it's a problem. I need you to say it out loud. I didn't hear anybody say it out loud right now, okay? Try again. What is homework? Shukudai. How do you have homework? Shukudai ga aru. How do you make that into a reason? You add kara. Shukudai ga aru kara. Ie ni kaeru yo. Okay? We don't have to have the yo. It doesn't have to be there. Shukudai ga aru kara ie ni kaeru yo. Shukudai ga aru kara ie ni kaeru yo. Alright? Then let's say you get home, okay? And then your friend texts you. He or she is like, look, I'm sad. I'm sad because you're not here. I'm sad because you're not here. How do you say that? How do you say, you're not here? Anata ga imasen, right? How do you package that? You have to package that in informal. That's how it works, right? Anata ga inai kara sabishi desu. Okay? Sabishi desu. All right. So we're making progress. We're making progress. Let's do a little bit more. Okay, we're almost done. Let's talk about desu. So, we have been using strictly verbs up until now. Reason being a verb is just put it in informal form, form and add kara. Works very nice, very easy. But des has some rules. Des is always removed if the reason is an e adjective or a verb in any form. Now, we already knew that. There's no des with verbs, right? Unless you're saying, like, uh, uh, inakatta des. Wasn't there because then you can add the des on it to make it more polite, right? So you might be thinking, well, is it ina kata des kara because you weren't there? No, you have to remove it. The des is gone. The same thing for e adjectives, okay? You don't say atsui des kara, you say atsui kara. This one you will mess up. I hear it all the time. If it's an e adjective, the des is gone completely, there's no form left over it. Of it, okay. However, if it's a noun plus des for the reason or na adjective plus des, then the des changes to da 
and we get something like because it's a dog is inu dakara inu dakara right or uh, because I like you remember that ski is a na adjective so ski dakara because I like it because I like it right or uh, because it's convenient bendi dakara you could never say bendi kara kire kara ski kara they're all wrong and it sounds completely bad and also, you could never say atsui dakara because an e adjective removes the da. The des is never there. Atsui dakara is so foreign. Now, later on, we will learn new rules that will make something similar to that feel like it sounds like the same thing. But if you're saying raw, atsui dakara, you are completely wrong. Okay? Don't do it. Let's do some examples. All right. It's hot today. I'm not going to go outside. The yellow thing is the cause or the reason. The result is the white thing. So how do you say, because it's hot today, I'm not going to go outside. Very nice, right? No da in there. I mean, think about it. Think about it. The real rule is this. Always remove the des in any form, unless it's a noun and not adjective. It's kind of 50-50, right? Verbs, any adjectives, no da. Not adjectives and nouns have the da. Okay? So, sushi wa oishii desu. Sushi is delicious. This is a fact. We all know sushi is delicious. Mainichi tabemasu. So, I eat it every day. Because sushi is delicious, I eat it every day. How would you say that? Sushi wa oishii kara mainichi tabemasu. Sushi wa oishii kara mainichi tabemasu. Alright. Mami-chan wa Yasashi this. I don't know, like the name mommy just sounds nice. Mommy. I think it maybe because it sounds like mama or mother, I don't know. But mommy just such a soft round name. I like that name. Mommy. Oh mommy is so cute. Mami chan wa yasashi this. Mami chan is so kind. She's kind. Therefore, Daisuki this. I really like her. Daisuki desu. For the record, I do not know anybody named Mommy. When I meet someone named Mommy, I will let you know. In the past, I knew someone named Mamiko, but can't count her anymore. So how would you say, because Mami-chan, Mami-chan is kind, I really like her. Mami-chan wa yasashii kara daisuki desu. Mami-chan wa yasashi kara daisuki desu. We know another way to say kind, right? We know another way. It's shinsetsu. And shinsetsu is a na adjective. So how would I do this sentence with Mami-chan wa shinsetsu desu and therefore I like her. So how would you say because she's shinsetsu, I like her a lot. I don't have this on the screen, so just remember it. Think about it. It would be, Mami-chan wa shinsetsu da kara daisuki desu. Then it has to be da kara. You will hear da kara again. It will come up. All right, let's do a couple more. Oh, here we go. Here's some na adjectives. Konbini wa benri desu. Konbini wa benri desu. Convenience stores are convenient. One of my favorite sentences. Therefore, you know what? I go, I go a lot. I go often. Why do you often go? Oh, I often go because they're convenient. So how do you say, because convenience stores are convenient, I have to go. And maybe, maybe the sentence is like, well, dude, why do you go to the convenience store? It's actually more expensive. You could go to the bigger supermarket and get things cheaper. Well, look, because the convenience store is convenient, I often go there. All right, makes sense, right? So how would you say? Remember that. Remember the rule before before I reveal. 
Rule is, E adjectives and verbs, the da is gone. Na adjectives and nouns, the da is there. So, konbini wa benri da kara yoku ikimasu. Mami-chan wa kirei desu. She's, she's not just kind. Mami-chan's pretty. Mami-chan wa kirei desu. Now, kirei, remember, is a na adjective, even though it ends in an e. Random coincidence. So, I like her. Suki desu. How'd you say it? Mami-chan wa kirei da kara suki desu. Mami-chan wa kirei da kara suki desu. How would you say... This is this is reverse. We've been doing we've been ending in ski desu, but let's flip it, okay? Pizza ga suki desu. I like pizza. I do I really like pizza. There's a place here. Oh my gosh. There's a place here called Blaze Pizza, okay? Do you guys know what Chipotle is? Chipotle is like you go and they make a bowl for you, like rice and beans and meat, and like they make it right there in front of you, okay? So that that's been very, very successful in America. And it's like one of the most popular chains because it's fast and you just point and they put what you want on your on your Mexican bowl or your burrito. But Blaze Pizza here in Las Vegas, they have them. It's like Chipotle for pizza. So you just go, yeah, I'll take a, a make my own. You call it a make my own pizza. And then they'll, they'll, they'll pop the dough out and they go, yeah, I'll take spicy sauce. And they put the spicy sauce. They look at the cheese you like. And they put the cheese on. You just do it all right in front of you. It's like a conveyor belt. And then nine minutes later, your pizza's done. So delicious. Pizza ga suki desu. I like pizza. Okay? Mainichi tabemasu. That's not true, but let's assume it is. I eat it every day. Every day. So, because I like pizza, I eat it every day. Would it be pizza ga suki kara? No. Pizza ga suki da kara. That's it. We now know how to connect sentences. You know the rules. We'll keep practicing in future videos and we'll keep reviewing. So you keep learning. Don't worry too much about getting this perfect right now. Watch this video again. Give it about 10 more days and watch it again. Okay? It'll probably click better. I'll see you all in the next video. Johnny.